cases going up. Mandatory mask. Kansas. Get your stuff together. channel this is your boy mr chaz it is the second week in august and we are still dealing with the covid 19 pandemic and i just want to tell you right now kansas is not doing well yeah there's a lot of counties that have the mandatory face mask and they're enforcing that and numbers have dropped there's also cases going up all over kansas and now the governor is talking about shutting things back down or going to phase two. Like Kansas, what are you doing? Get your stuff together. With the governor stepping in and basically telling us uh, that we need to do mandatory masks, the governor has also limited how many people can be at large gatherings. Right now it's sitting about 45 to 50 people. And a lot of clients for weddings, birthdays, and special events are not happy about it. A lot of the gigs that I did have that was gonna have 200 plus people, they're not willing to budge. They're not willing to drop down to 45 people just because of everything that's going on. So I'm having to do a lot of rescheduling with my special events. As a business owner, this is a very terrifying time because there's a lot of uncertainty that comes with owning your own business. But we're gonna keep things going. I'm gonna go ahead and hit y'all with another retro gig log of mine. I was booked to do a Dirty 30 birthday party way out in Randolph, Kansas, where there's not a lot of signal. You'll see more cows than people half the time, but it was a great time. I still have my original equipment, my first set of equipment that I had when I started my DJing business. And so you'll get to see a lot of that. It was just the basic of the basic and I was getting my business rolling. So this is all my original gear I had from the jump. I hadn't quite upgraded to some newer tops. I hadn't quite upgraded to some newer uh, bass speakers. I hadn't got my DJ uh, case for my controller. So you're gonna see what I was working with for the bare minimum of my first year as an independent mobile DJ. Check it out. I was fresh out of my first year of my DJing business and I still had my original deck, I still have my original speakers and all that. And so y'all can go ahead and critique me. I know that uh, it's not gonna be pretty because I was just starting out as a mobile DJ for my business and being the one to put all the investment and the money into. So as you can see, man, it was a lot of fun. I was out there in the middle of nowhere with a whole bunch of people. We were having fun, there was games to be played, people were barbecuing, I mean there was a diaper being worn here and there. It was just a good time for a Dirty 30 birthday party. So I was blessed that they chose me to come out there and rock the crowd for them. And yeah, um, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off. but. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if this is your first time to the channel hit a like you know get notifications from me and wherever you are you tell me what's going on in your neck of the woods what's going on in your city your town your county tell me what's going on and how COVID-19 has impacted your DJ business or if you're just a customer if you happen to come past my page because you were searching for wedding DJs let me know what's going on in your area you can definitely for booking information you can hit me in my email or you can comment on one of my videos I 
pretty much get back to people as quickly as possible. Get at my Facebook, get at my Instagram, get at my Snapchat, or get at my Twitter. I'm everywhere now, you know? It's your boy, Mr. Chaz. Thank you for your time, and keep playing dope music.